Right, hi YouTube. Um, today we're going to be looking at Adobe Photoshop CS4, removing the background of an image using the Quick Mask tool. So, first thing I want to do before we get started, run for a few shortcuts. Control and plus zooms in, and Control and minus zooms out. Um, the brackets below them two keys, like the square type brackets, if you open bracket, it uh, minimizes the brush tool, well, makes it smaller, and the close brackets makes it bigger like so so it really helps if you want to like have big sections like that uh, without having to click about anyway um so back to this you've got your picture and you want to hit Q on your keyboard uh, make sure your foreground color is black and you want to just paint over the part you want to keep so I'm just painting over here make my brush do a little bit bigger If you ever go over a bit you don't want and you want to deselect that because you want to keep it, then you're going to want to hit X on your keyboard. This will change the foreground colour and the background colour around or alternatively you can click this little arrow thing here. So that will switch them. Um, and you just paint over the bit where you want to deselect. For example, down here. Yep. So then what you want to do, once you've got the whole basic thing, you want to press Q to exit Quick Mask. Yeah, so as you can see, it's basically selected a rough outline of my little um, photograph. You then want to press Alt, hold down Alt, sorry, and double click this layer. If the layer's not there, you want to click Channels, then click Layers, so it comes back. Uh, double click that layer while holding down Alt. This will unlock the layer. Um, then, uh, after you've unlocked it, this will allow you to, um, to click this little button down here, add layer mask. So you click that and bang, the picture's gone. Right, so, but that's not a problem, because you can click that layer, control and I, and it will invert that. So as you can see, I haven't I've rushed it quite quickly here, so the very, the background is gone. So, yeah. Um, then what I like to do is, I like to click this little, like, paper thing here. Uh, and add a new layer. Um, and I'm not quite sure how to actually do this on CS4, but I do it on CS3 a lot. And you change the colour of your um, layer, the whole layer, like you add a layer colour. I'm going to try and do it here. No, it doesn't seem to be working. Um, but yeah, if anyone, you probably know how to do that anyway. So maybe blending options. Yeah, it would be somewhere there, colour somewhere, yeah. Yeah, it'd be somewhere like that, yeah. So, um, but if, alternatively, you can just paint over there. So, um, using the brush tool, that is really helpful. There you go. Paint over there, and the background's gone, basically. Rushing that very quick. And the background will go. Um, so, yeah, that's basically uh, quick masking. Yeah, obviously, you will take much more time, and it will look like... 10 times better than me. Um, a few examples. Gibson SG. This had a rubbish little black background in the back. I took that off. Um, let's see if I can find another one. I don't think I've actually got another one. Fender Strap. No, I don't think I did that one. But yeah, you get the point. Um, so I'll close all these now. So yeah, um, hopefully you'll now know how to do this and you'll be able to quick mask all your images you want um, hope this has helped so please subscribe favorite and rate the video and comment if you've got any problems so thanks for watching